I'm here. It's great. So here we are. When I'm 64, The Beatles, great song. I think uh, I read that Paul McCartney wrote this when he was 14 years old or something. It's an awesome song. I think it's, is it on the White Album? No, it's on Sgt. Pepper. That's it. Not the White Album. Here's the chords for When I'm 64. I'm doing a G chord. A D chord. A D7. A G7. Just like that. A C chord. A C minor. An E chord. Like that. An A chord. An E minor chord. Man, there's a lot of chords in this. It's really great. I also do a B bar chord that looks like that. I don't play the E string or the low E string. And we play an A minor chord. And that's all the chords. do is I go back and forth alternating bass. The song has a really heavy bass and an alternating bass. So I'm doing G string, D string. I mean G note on the E string. It's the third fret. Right there. Third fret, open. Second on the E string, open. Back to the third fret on the B string. Playing a D7. Will you still be sending me a Valentine? Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. Now you could go back and play an alternating bass with a pick, like that. Or you could go. to do is you're going to play the C chord twice, C minor chord twice, G chord twice, E chord twice, A, D, and then G, D, G. Just like that. I'm just plucking everything at the same time. When I get to this point when I'm playing the song, I usually need to pull back the tempo a little bit. <clears throat> when I come out of Would you lock the door? Oops. Door. If I keep feeling that same uh, pulse, I usually rush it. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? And when I do that, it doesn't sound very good. So what I do is I pull back the tempo just a little bit. So I get to that line and I go, Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? And I purposely pull back the tempo when I'm 64. And I think it settles into a really nice tempo right there without running away. Then we go into E minor. That's when they have like a little lead thing, a little instrumental section uh, on the E minor. alternating bass back and forth between the low E string and the B note right there. The low E and the B note. And on the D, I do the D note, down to the A note, E note. So 
right there, the vocals, there's some vocals in the background that goes or whatever they're doing. What I like to do, so I'm doing a bar chord, and then I take these three notes up a fret to the fifth fret, back to the so I go right there. B chord. That's actually a C chord back to the that chord on the fourth fret. I play the B note right there. Something like that. And then I'm back to E minor. And if you on that low E and A string, A minor, A string to the D string, and you're holding the A minor chord, and then it goes, I could, I do the C note, the E note, and then the D, stay with you, and then I do that, you can do it this way, right, so that it's open D, fourth fret, second fret on the G string, one there, or you could do, this is what I did. And then I played a, a D7 chord. Or if you can do it, something like that. That's what the clarinet does. Dun, 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 I believe. And then you could go back into a verse. I could be handy mending a few. space in there that so there's no guitar you can knit the sweater by the fireside Sunday mornings go for a ride you in the garden digging the weeds who could ask for more now when you do the alternating bass here you can do the C note down to the third fret the G note there it sounds really good to that. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Every summer we can rent a E minor. I love why if it's not too dear. We shall scrimp and say grandchildren on your knees. C chord. B. Verse, dating point of view. Let's see. Indicate precisely what you mean to say. Oh, sincerely wasting away. Give me a answer, fill in the form. My forever. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? And then I just did this. C, C minor, G, E, A, D, G, E, D, and we're done. And that's it. That's all I did. I didn't worry about the actual, you know, intro that they did on the Beatles record. I just did that. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. I have a Subscribestar page, a Patreon page, and there's a link in the description below, a PayPal link, if you want to make a donation and get my book, which has this song in it. And uh, I could do some tabs if we need to, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Uh, you make a donation to get the book, and you get updates through the end of 2021. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Take care. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? 